Today's morning thought is to create daily. And what I mean by that is that we spend way too much of our lives, and I think too many of us do this where we're consumers. You know, we're consuming social media feeds, we're consuming news, um, we're consuming entertainment, watching Netflix, Amazon Prime movies, whatever. Um, but we're not participating, we're not creating we're not making. And it may seem like there's a big boundary between the makers and creators and the consumers. And there used to be, it used to be a lot harder to be a maker, write a book and get it published a lot harder, make music and actually have an album come out that people could listen to a lot harder. Being in entertainment, you know, getting on the big screen, being a movie star, being a TV star, uh, or a professional athlete. All this stuff was a lot harder. Um, the boundaries have changed. I think the barriers have changed. There, there are fewer gatekeepers between you and an audience that would appreciate what you're doing. Um, and that's useful. That's, that's something that I think is interesting for a lot of people. I've talked about that before, but I'm just talking about creating for the sake of creating for yourself and how that changes you. And when you are engaging daily in the act of creation, making something, it makes you more creative. It's this creative muscle spins up and then you create more and more things and you become more innovative. And I think that carries over very positively into your everyday life. I think it carries over very well into your work, making you more creative, making you more innovative. But it's not easy because it's so much easier to consume. And our phones are set up that way. I mean, they... <laughs> All these little alerts and notifications and, and things trying to get us to engage and watch other people living their lives, which is sad when you think about it. I always thought it was sad to watch so many people staring at a TV screen, especially with professional sports and living very sedentary lives themselves. So, you know, they, they aren't playing football. They're watching football. They're not playing tennis. They're watching tennis. They're not even bowling. They're watching people bowl. Um, and in some cases you have to, you know, there are people who have issues where they can't physically do things like that, but I can tell you hundreds of millions of people who are watching other people on the screen do things are quite capable of doing them too. And it's really unfortunate. It's really sad because I've found great enjoyment in participating in doing and lifting weights instead of watching people lift weights and people watch people lift weights. Um, I love being an athlete. I'm not a great athlete. I'm not a professional athlete. I do it for myself. I do it for fun. Um, I enjoy running. I like trail running. I'm not going to win any like contest or get any gold medal for my running, but I enjoy it. <clears throat> it makes me feel good. Um, there's just sheer joy that happens through participation. And the same thing with, with creating. I like sketching. I do some watercolors. I do a lot of writing. So if you follow me on Medium or my newsletter, uh, newsletter.invinciblecareer.com, by the way, um, or on any of the social media feeds that I have, you're probably annoyed by the fact that I post so much of my writing, but I like writing. Uh, I haven't always written. I've always wanted to. It was a dream of mine when I was younger to be an author. I was a, a heavy consumer of books. I probably read a book a day when I was in my teens. Um, and I dreamed of becoming an author, but I never actually did anything about it. And it was a lot harder back then. You know, you had to, to write on a typewriter and I was a horrible typist. Um, that's changed. And so in the last five, six years, I've become a writer and I write a lot on Medium and my, and my newsletter, which comes out, you know, a couple times a week. And now I'm making these videos. Uh, am I going to be a big movie star? <laughs> I'm just doing it kind of for fun, a bit, a bit of a challenge for myself to get in front of the camera. Cause I like being behind the camera. I take a lot of photographs too. I love taking photographs of nature. That's kind of my thing. So what is your thing?
What do you want to create? What do you want to make? What did you used to do when you were younger? Why did you stop doing it? How can you add a little bit of that to your day? How could you do something every morning or every evening before work, after work? Even if you only spend 15, 20, 30 minutes doing it, bringing something into the world, creating something that is uniquely you. It's not someone else's. You know, you're not consuming. You're making something and putting it out into the world. And I think you should. I think you should put it out in the world. Um, You don't have to. You know, maybe you're not comfortable. But uh, a lot of people will enjoy what you're creating more than you think. And the process of creation is interesting and exciting for people, the behind the scenes kind of stuff. Um, And I'll take, you know, give credit to Gary Vee for, for talking about this. He's like, you don't have to do something special and amazing before you publish it and put it out into the world. Just show behind the scenes of your life. So whatever it is that you're creating, making, writing, painting, sketching, lifting weights, going for a run, whatever it is, you know, document that, capture it and put it out into the world and see how people react to it. That's my morning thought for today. Create daily.